Okay, now in this tutorial we're going to look at um, insert statements for SQL. So, a SQL insert statement is when you're putting in a new record into a table or a database. So, such as a new member of staff, a new item, um, a new course, anything along those lines. And there are two types of um, insert statements we'll look at. One, where you're inserting um, a value for every single field that's in a table, and we'll refer to that as a full insert statement. Or sometimes you only have certain pieces of data, so you're not putting in a value for every single field, and we'll refer to that as a partial insert statement. So if we look at the two tables above there, um, what the scenario we're going to use is that a new instructor is joining, and we've got to add their details. The name is uh, D. Thomas, his ID will be 5, his date of birth is the 1st of May 1986 and is a Grade 5 instructor. So the first step is to state which table you're putting in the new value. So we would say insert into and the table is called instructor. because we want to make sure that we're putting it into this table here. So the next part is going to be to specify what the values are. Now we're going to be putting in a value for every field. Instructor ID, which is 5. Instructor name, which is D. Thomas. The date of birth is the 1st of May 86. And it's a grade 5 instructor. So we're just going to kind of match those up there. So we'll say so we'll just kind of match up the column there. So his ID will be five. So that's going to go in that field. His name is D. Thomas. And that's going to go in there. His date of birth is that. And we will just... And he's a grade five instructor. So that one is going to go into there. So the next part of this statement is going to be the values that are going to be inserted. So the values, now it's important of the order that they're in. So we will just assume that the order is the same order that they are there. So the first one is going to be his instructor ID. So the instructor ID is 5 and this is just numeric so that's fine. Then his uh, second piece of information is going to be the instructor name. So that is, now you'll notice that I'm putting an apostrophe there. His name is D. Thomas. Then I'm putting in another comma, so I'm, you'll notice that I'm separating the values with commas. Now the third part is his, da his, his date of birth, which we treat as a string as well. And we're going to write it as year then the month, and then the day. And then last but not least, his instructor ID, which in this case is also 5, and then we'll close the brackets. So dates are always in year, month, and then days format, and they are treated as strings. Numerical values, you don't need to put apostrophes around, and that would, would be that. Now, the reason that dates are in that particular format is because when you sort a date, so for example, if you had the 1st of the 2nd, 2017, and then you had the 2nd of the 1st, 17, and then the 3rd of the 10th, 17. If you were to wanting to sort these in ascending order, it actually gets sorted as a string. So in which case, that is actually the order that they would appear there because we would sort on the 1st, and the 2nd, and the 3rd. But if we write them as 17, and then 2, and then 1, we write that as 17, and then 1, and then 2, and then 17, and then 10, and then 3. 
if we were to resort those, we would actually then get the first of January because first of all it would look at the first two digits which are the same, ignoring those. Then it looks at these ones, so one is going to become one is going to come before two, so we would get seventeenth of the first. Sorry, 17th of January. Sorry, the 2nd of January, 17. Then the next one would be the 17, 2, 2. So that's the 2nd of, uh, of Feb February. And then the last one would be the 3rd of October. So that is why the date is in that particular format. So this is a partial insert because, you'll, because we aren't going to insert all the values. So first thing we're going to do is just write down the, first of all, the table that we're going to put things into. So this is an insert statement. So the first part is we're going to insert into, and this time we're going to insert into the course table. So we're inserting into the course and now we need to put the fields that we're going to be inserting. So we're going to be putting in values for the course ID. We're going to be putting in a value for the title. And also the days, the capacity, and the cost but we are not going to be specifying a value for the date. So the third part is going to be putting in the values for those fields. So what we say is that the values are, the course ID for this one is BMX, sorry, I'm putting an apostrophe there, BMX05, the next one's title, which we'll just say is BMX Advanced. Just put BMX Advanced. Uh, it is going to run for four days. It is going to take ten people, and it will cost um, four hundred pound. So the first part is specifying the table it's going to go into. The second part is the field names that you're going to put into. And it's important that the order matches. And the values, again, you'll notice that the course ID is there, the title is there, the days is there, the capacity is there, and the cost is there.